You stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RM Garage. We're up here in the Sierra Nevadas, and today we're hitting up a trail that we've done previously on the channel, but we're taking the back route, which is supposedly more challenging and a lot easier to get lost on. It should be a lot of fun. we did this trail, Ryan was in his first gen 4Runner. Since then, the timing chain let go and he's been rebuilding the motor. So this time, he's in his fifth gen 4Runner, which you may have noticed is relatively stock. There's actually nothing done to it besides tires. We're hoping to get it through the trail with minimal to no damage. We found a river crossing here a few years ago and that's what we're setting out to find today. However, there are lots of paths on this side of the trail and even with GPS, it's really easy to get lost. So we're trying to figure out where to go. There's like three different ways to go. Looking at the GPS, this appears, appears to be the correct way, but we're gonna go ahead and walk it just to see if it's a, a viable route. It looks like we can go that way. And what we're really trying to find is this creek crossing that we found last time out here, but we don't know where it is. So we're just kind of roaming around trying to figure out where that, where that was. If we can find it again, it's really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and explore and get lost and see if we can figure out where this, uh, where this creek crossing was. This is where things get a little sketchy. It's always hard to gauge how steep something is on video, and this is a very steep, very intimidating descent. And I'm glad I have dual transfer cases. It gets even worse at the end. I have my crawl box engaged and I'm coasting down this hill with my foot off the brake at a 223 to 1 crawl ratio. This makes things very easy to control despite how steep the descent is. Meanwhile, Ryan is trying to find a different path down since this would prove to be very challenging for the forerunner. You can hear my girlfriend saying they're stuck. There is no easy way down this part of the trail for a stock truck. I think they're stuck. I think they're stuck. Like 10 feet. 
Really? <laughs> it's, hold on, let me go down there. All right, so this is a pretty steep drop off right here, just for reference. It's about a 10 foot, about a 10 foot drop off. We're gonna put it into granny and just really slowly coast down it. Put my seatbelt on. 53 degrees? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. All right, so the Forerunner can't make it down this. It's bone stock and it's rubbing bad. So we're gonna back it up and try to get over on this side. I'm gonna come up here and then back up and go up back up and just try that other side. I mean, it's sketchy, but I think you got it. Yeah. Yeah. You stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Tires down a little bit so that you don't put that weight over the top. Yeah, there you go. Good. There you go. You're good. You're good. I'm just feeling no, it. No, yeah. Use the force. Turn it down a little bit. You, you don't want to be sideways on this hill, dude. Straight forward? Yeah. Backing the forerunner up, which is never a good idea, but we're trying to get back up the hill to go around the other way. A little bit, yeah. Hot tire. Yeah, you're stuffing your tire on the other side. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Hey, don't speak too soon. <laughs> I gotta aim towards the tree. So right slow, slow, the tree slow, and then you gotta go that way. Yeah. Right 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 right. Now that we got the forerunner out of that situation, You're we have to take it down the other side, side of the obstacle. We're not doing another U-turn on a vertical rock, so we have to make this count. And again, this is steeper than it looks. Low. Low. That's, yeah, that's just a skip play, you're good. You got, it's gonna be a small drop still, but... Good, nice. The left side's the harder side. You see this drop off here. You can't really tell on camera, but it's about 10 feet at a 60 degree angle. And the right side is what we just took the forerunner down. We had to back the forerunner up and go back up that hill and go all the way around and come down this one. And it was still pretty close, but no trail damage, right? Nope. No trail damage, just a skid plate. Jim, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, so you're gonna just gonna come straight down on that uh, route that I showed you. Keep it in double low. If you need to use the brake, use it, but your double low should be good. Turn a little bit more driver and stop, stop, stop. Straighten it out. Come straight down. Tippy. 
Got a little tippy on the way down, huh? You can see the stacked rocks at the bottom of this ledge. This is an off-camber descent, and I can only assume that other trucks had issues dropping off this ledge, hence the stacked rocks. Once I'm down, we'll have to spot the forerunner through it, and after that last scare, we're really trying to make this as smooth as possible. continued to make our way down shells of rock after getting a bit turned around. But we think that this might have been the river crossing we found a few years ago. Unfortunately, if it is, it appears to be completely dried up. Maybe when it snows, we'll see this river flowing again.
find that water crossing. We did find a small creek that looked familiar, but definitely wasn't the exact same one. But we're really shaking in here. Um, oh my God. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, we didn't find the water crossing. We found one that was similar. The one that we saw like a couple years ago might've dried up or something, just we couldn't find it. But we definitely got in some sticky situations with the Forerunner. As you guys saw, there were a couple of times we had some really steep drop-offs that that thing was really really pushing it to its limit uh, but we're gonna head back down the hill now we're gonna air up and head back home after a long day of wheeling getting lost and finding new routes it was time to go home there's nothing like spending time with like-minded individuals who share a sense of adventure i'm thankful to have friends like these and i'm also thankful that we didn't flip the forerunner that would have been bad Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this video. It's been a very exciting day of wheeling. We almost flipped a $60,000 Forerunner down the side of the mountain. We got lost for a couple hours, but everyone made it out alive and the Forerunner is still in mint condition for now. If you guys like this content, if you'd like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later! Later!